Hey everyone, my name is Rui and we are here. This is going to be week number four of the PGL, the Pokemon Global League, and we're going up against the Toronto Toyota Dials. Now, this is going to be a really fun match. It will be up against the Blazing Squid, and um, we did face up against him in the PGL and U Cup, which we are champions of, but uh, this is going to be a completely different beast. I'm really excited about this match. I know how good he is. I know he can um, be super scary. I know he does a lot of different things in prep and during the battle. So, I think this is going to be a really fun match. Hopefully, um, we can do something here. We have a really awkward matchup. Um, I do have a handful of mons that match up really well. And um, I think for the most part, he has a better matchup than I do, hands down. But uh, there are a couple spots here and there where um, I don't really have too many good answers. So, I did the best that I could trying to assess his team against mine but uh like i said it's just going to be a really interesting match um it's going to be the first time that i'm not bringing superior along okay let's see um and it's going to be interesting let's see we see the buzzwool houndoom uh scizor decidueye Uxie, and Zygarde. So pretty much everything that I expected. Um, no Diancie, which um, is a little bit surprising. I know how much he loved Diancie in the PGO NU Cup, and I, I don't think he's brought it at all this season. Um, I did kind of have to prepare a little bit for that um, Rotom Frost, but it's not going to come. Pretty much everything that I expected. I kind of half expected the Torkoal, half expected the Staraptor, but I think he brought his best six against me. Definitely, definitely. So I'm trying to think. I kind of want to lead off with my... Victini here. Um, I could also definitely just lead off with the Jolteon. Um, okay, my, my Raquinid is banded, and my Raquinid is going to have a pretty darn decent time against his entire team. And I kind of want to lead off with it. It Nothing really crazy threatens my Raquinid. And just starting off the match with a choice banded um, water bubble boosted uh, liquidation could be pretty clutch. I don't think he can set hazards at all. Um, oh no, Yuxi can. Yuxi can. But I don't think he can... He has double removal in his Scizor and his Decidueye. Um, okay. Okay. I could definitely see his Yuxi leading. And if I'm in a position where I can scare out the Yuxi straight away with um, a potential leech life going into it, then that would be pretty interesting. But realistically, he probably... Mm, Yuxi can't really touch my Raquinid, so maybe that might be reason enough to not want to stay in, but he would be letting me get some free damage onto his team. I am Choice Banded, which I'm super excited about. I cannot wait to see my Araquanid just put some holes into his entire team. Although, again, if he does lead Yuxi, he could see turn one as just free rocks for him. Um, um, Yuxi in a Master Ball, which is cute. Uh, but let's see here, Yuxi. Stealth Rocks, Utility, Yuxi. He does have to be weary of the Leech Life, but um, Bandit Liquidation does just as much as Leech Life because of the Water Bubble. And uh, it hits his entire team except for the Decidueye. Decidueye could come in, which would be unfortunate, but I'm not the most worried about that. I'm going to try to get a Liquidation off. Um, liquidation should be a two-hit KO if he does just try to set up those Stealth Rocks. And he could just try and go into the uh, Decidueye now. We do get the Defense Drop. And he knows that I'm Banded now. He should know that I'm Banded now. But I am really curious to see what I would do against a Decidueye. Oof. So a Noble Decidueye, I do over half to. Max HP, I do over half to. It would have to be max defense just to be able to take me on. So I don't mind going for another Liquidation because Water Bubble kind of nullifies the resistance a little bit. And again, we are just a Bandit Araquanid. Araquanid is just trying to do its thing out here. I think it's going to pretty much to a KO his entire team. Maybe not the Buzzwall. Um, depending on how it's built, but um, I like my Araquanid's matchup against his entire team. If he goes into the Scizor, um, well, a Noble Scizor gets Oko'd by Liquidation. Even Max HP Scizor um, has a chance to Oko. 
So again, just a super interesting matchup for my um, Araquanid. Now, this absolutely means that I'm going to have to Rapid Spin Rocks away um, if I want to switch out and let, let this thing in later on. Goes for the knockoff. Okay, that's unfortunate. But because gets a crit. But because we did get the defense drop, I will get I will KO this thing. So yeah, that that knockoff is super unfortunate. It is definitely, definitely going to hurt my Raconid for later. But again, we are still water bubble boosted. It's not going to 2 KO the Decidueye, which is super duper unfortunate. But um I still like the matchup against pretty much the entire team. Um, but I'm definitely gonna have to get Rocks up off the field. He doesn't have any other ways of setting up Rocks, and, um, he does have removal methods, so I'm gonna have to be wary of that, but, uh, for the most part, I'm feeling okay right now. Um, he could force me to switch around a lot, which would be super unfortunate for just having Rocks up on the field in general. It goes into the Decidueye. Uh, let me see here. I could... He could Spirit Shackle me, which would be not ideal. He could Spirit Shackle me, which would be not ideal. But even without the band... Even without the band, um, Leech Life should be doing about half. Leech Life should be doing about half. And I'm getting some health back. I'm gonna just click Leech Life. I'm Max Attack Adamant. Goes for the Brave Bird. I kind okay, so I kind of expected the sh um the Spirit Shackle only because um it does take me out only because my Victini was a decently obvious switch in, but I think no, you know what? I'm gonna go into. I think I'm gonna go into my Drapion. And I think what I should do is just get up Toxic Spikes. I don't think he's gonna wanna stay in because Drapions are generally pretty, um, are generally pretty defensive and I can pack knockoff so i don't think you'd want to stay in here but getting up a layer of toxic spikes could be huge um i'm, ass I'm gonna assume for now that decidueye is his main removal but the fact that this decidueye did so much damage kind of makes me think that it's not that it's not um supportive that it could be just offensive let me see here a max attack decidueye with Brave Bird. Yeah, okay, so... That Decidueye would have to be offensively invested in order for him to be confident enough in that Brave Bird calc to take out my Araquanid. Because... A no attack invested Decidueye does um, under 75%, and I think I was around 75-ish percent. Um, I could be wrong about that. But that's just what I'm remembering now. And my thinking here is that he would have to be at least a little bit offensively invested in order to kind of... Um, goes into this thing. Okay. Okay. I think what I'm going to want to do... Oh, why did I give my, this thing leftovers when I could have given it Black Sludge? It doesn't really matter. Um, I could knock this thing off, but what I probably should do is I go into, do I even really take a hit from this thing? I'm especially defensive, Drapion. Buzzwool. I'm going to assume it's like a Scarf Buzzwool. We should take any single hit from this thing, unless it's banded, in which case, um... I... we can deal with it. Or at least scare it out. I should probably just knock this thing off for now. And then try to go on from there.
But first, I'm going to uh, screenshot the bottom screen. The thing is that I really need this Drapion a bit for... Um, for... Um, I really do need this Drapion for... The Houndoom. Because it's my best specially defensive option for the Houndoom. What I think I'm going to do is go into my Sand Slash. Because I don't see any way that this thing can two hit KO me. Okay. Continental Crush. Z Stone Edge. He had to have been expecting my Victini to come in, but I don't think that that was ever the play. Um... I guess we see how much Z Stone Edge does. We are more or less max defensive. Okay. Okay, we will get a rapid spin off. Um, this will allow the Decidueye to come in. But... Actually, yeah, now I'm super glad that it didn't knock off because I wouldn't have knocked off anything anyway. And it would have been a pretty much wasted turn, except my Drapion would have taken heck of damage. But I'm going to click Rapid Spin. I'm going to click Rapid Spin. I'm super upset that my um, Araquanade went down that early. But I do think that that Araquanade gave me the information that I needed somewhat. It does go for Toxic. I don't know. I'm not too, too concerned. But I don't want really want to stay in anyway because um, my Sand Slash is not meant to deal with this at all. I cannot really um, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with this Buzzwole like at all. And the worst thing that I could probably do is allow this thing to Beast Boost up on me. So, I think what I want to do... I don't know. What I could do is go into Dodrio. I could go into Dodrio. I could either go into Dodrio or Victini here. I could go into Dodrio or Victini here. Victini would be the more obvious play. It would allow me to free very freely U-turn out. I don't know what kind of a prediction he would want to make in this situation. But, mm, this is a pretty risky switch in, but I think I'm going to switch in my Dodrio right now. And honestly, what I kind of want to do is, goes for the Rock Slide. So Z Rock Slide. Can we take this? Oh, we barely take it. Okay. What I really want to do right now is go for the Z... Brave Bird. I'm kind of expecting the Scizor to come in. But that's a lot of damage to put on a Scizor. Uh, it might... It even threatens an Oko. It even threatens an Oko. So I think the play has to be to go for that Z Brave Bird. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. If we can... If we can Oko the Scizor, so it would have to be a no bulk Scizor in order for me to Oko, but if we can pull this off, then that would be pretty darn huge. That would be pretty darn huge. I am super curious to see how much damage this does. Again, a complete no bulk Scizor, I have a 93% chance to Oko. And... Okay, I think the fact that that did that much, he had to have invested at least some into, into, uh, physical defense, which is interesting, or at the very least, like, HP or something like that. Um, I think my best play is to go out with a quick attack. Hmm. I have to think this through. I have to really think this through. Is 
if if I give up this 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 um Dodrio, can I deal with the rest of his team? I think I can. I I'd have to be concerned about the Decidueye because this handles the, the Decidueye and the Buzzwool, but the but my Scarf Victini can do that more or less just as well. I'm gonna quick attack here. Can we? Okay, we do KO. That is actually huge. That is actually heckin' huge. And if we are correct about, if we are correct about the decision by being offensive and not having defog, then that means that means that. Toxic Spikes are here for the rest of the match. And I have Dodrio as a huge, huge threat for the rest of this match as well. Goes into this thing. But my natural kind of um, play against this thing is always my Drapion. And I think I have to hard switch into it right now. I, I almost went with an Assault Vested Drapion just to kind of counteract this thing, but I felt like Toxic Spice would just be too huge for me in that in the longer run. Let's see. Um does go for the flamethrower. That is Super sketchy um, territory. That is very sketchy territory. But my only real play is to click Earthquake. My only real play is to click Earthquake. And if I just invested a few more EVs into Special Defense, then I'd probably take that better. I, it's probably a mistake on my part. I'm only 22, 222, 228. I'm sorry. Um. EVs with a careful nature. But I will get an EQ off, and... I will get an EQ off. And another round of leftovers, so no matter what, it looks like... It looks like I will be able to revenge with my Drapion later on if the Houndoom takes anything out, which is going to be pretty huge. What I really want to do is just switch into my my sand slash because the fact that i can take hits is pretty huge for me right now and um if i get rocks up that would be huge so much so that i don't even really think i care if i give up a beast boost right now yeah i get rocks up right now no matter what unless the situation comes in but who knows who knows but i don't think there's any way that i don't get rocks up right now and the only thing that could really stop me is if Decidueye does have Defog and it comes in aggressively, but um, I guess realistically it still gets poisoned and everything that I need to get poisoned is going to get poisoned. It does go for the Drain Punch. We do still take that. We, will, we still get Rocks up and um, I can... I have to see if, yeah, my Victini 100% threatens, um, thre actually, it's better if I get KO'd, but I don't get KO'd right now. I kind of want to aggressively switch into my, my, um, my, Victini right now, but I probably shouldn't. The worst thing that this thing could do is click Rock Slide. Actually, yeah, Rock Slide is always the play because it pre it prevents um my Victini and my and really does I guess the same damage against all of my team and um it'll get him closer to that Beast Boost. But what I can do is it doesn't really matter because I can always just let Dodrio come in. 
to Drill Click's Brave Bird, and whatever comes in, he would have to pick a sack. Whether it's going to be the Decidueye, the Buzzwole, if the Houndoom wants to come in, or the Zygarde wants to come in, something has to go down to my to my Decidueye. Or not my Decidueye, my um my Dodrio. Oh, I'm sorry. I did not click a move. I'm so sorry. So, yeah. I'm perfectly fine with um, giving up this beast boost. Because this should force him to pick a sack with Dodrio. Actually, I'm, I'm also curious if Victini comes in, right? Zygarde. If, the, if it's a Noble Zygarde... If it's a Noble Xygarde. Um. Uh, two blue flares actually doesn't take it out. And. Two psychics should actually take it out, but I'm concerned about his potential. Switches in with Houndoom and with. And with, um, with Houndoom and with, um, other stuff. So, I just clicked Brave Bird. I feel like something has to go down right now. And if Dodrio can get, can pick up two KOs in its first outing, then that would be huge. Um, I don't, I don't think anything takes a hit. I, I don't see any way that Buzzwole takes a hit. Unless I miss something and it got a defense beast boost. But regardless, yeah, it's at 25%. I don't think it matters. Um Yeah, I don't think there's any way that Buzzwole takes it. Zygarde might take it, but that's a big old yikes for the rest of his um for the rest of his prospects decidueye i don't think you want decidueye to just get o code right now and um houndoom maybe but houndoom i have a lot of issues dealing with houndoom does go into the decidueye uh does get poisoned for whatever that's worth and I will just uh, take out this dang Decidueye. So Dodrio will get two KOs. You're a very sick man, Mr. And now we're in a situation where... Now we're in a situation where... Um... We... Let me think here. Because my Jolteon can still win this endgame here, but my Jolteon needs its Flame Orb in order to win. My Jolteon needs its Flame Orb in order to be able to win. Um... I think my only play is to go into Victini here. Zygarde. The thing is, the fact that my... The fact that my Jolteon doesn't have Protect actually means that if he prevents my... My... my flame war from popping then i could lose the match still um the best situation would be if i force a switch here but he could be confident enough in this hound doom to want to stay in but what i can do if jilteon takes a hit from this hound doom no Let's see here. 
Yeah, I should take a Dark Pulse okay, so I'm gonna click U-turn. I'm gonna click U-turn, go into Jolteon, get my Flame Orb, get my Flame Orb off, and click Volt Switch, go into Drapion. And, um... From there, I think we have a chance. Actually, I think I've just put myself into extreme speed range. Zygarde. I think I put myself into extreme speed range. It has to be Adamant Band in order for me to be in extreme speed range right now. But what I think I'm going to do is double into my Drapion. Actually, uh, now that- now he knows that he has to go for a flamethrower, so I can... I can, uh, double switch into my Victini here. And... Get some scarfed blue flares off. Especially if I can keep my my uh, Drapion out of range of extreme speed, then that could be wins it for me in the end. But um, just give myself as many options as, as I can have for this end game. I hope I'm not choking, but I don't know, man. He's gonna stay in. I'd be amazed if he goes for the Dark Pulse play. But yeah, just goes for Flamethrower. We take that fine, and um. I think I can click U turn, right? No, I, no, I wanna click Blue Flare. Blue Flare would prevent the Buzzwall from coming in. Yeah. This play forces the Zygarde to come in. I can switch out and sack my... In case it's like... In case it's Bandit Extreme Speed, then I can go into... I can go into um, Drapion. I can go into Drapion and sack it off. I can go into Drapion, sack it off. Which would allow me to bring in Victini, spam Psychic, and um, once I know whether it's going for 1,000 arrows or extreme speed, if it goes for extreme speed, then I go into Victini. If it goes for 1,000 arrows, then I go into um, Jolteon, because if it is if it is able to switch up moves and it, and it can go for the extreme speed, then... Um, if it is able to switch up moves, go for the extreme speed, then I know it's not banded, and I know that my Jolteon can take a hit. Um, and Hidden Power Ice, I believe, should win the match at that point. Um, unfortunately, he might be able to stall me out and play games with... With, um... He could be, he could be able to play games with um, my Flame Orb damage, but... 
goes for the Dragon Dance. Okay, I think that's worst case scenario. I think he wins this game because of that. I think he wins this game because of that. The thing is, I do still outspeed... No, I think that wins in the game because... Oh, okay, I think this thing has to be adamant for him to win. Oh, it's Life Orb. Life Orb wins in the game. I'm pretty sure Life Orb wins in the game. Let's see. Zygar Dragon Dance. If he's at plus one. If he's at plus one but Jolly. Then. If he's at plus one but Jolly. Then... Then, uh... It has a chance to KO. But, yeah, I have no other play. If he clicks extreme speed... Oh no, this is... Oh no, this is... Banded. Mm. No, he wins. Extreme speed wins in this match. Extreme speed 100% wins in this match. That is gonna be GG. I'm gonna type to him GG, man. That is... Mm. That's unfortunate. I had to... I had to click Psychic in order to win. And I could have stalled him out with a few turns of Life Orb Recoil and... With a few turns of Life Orb Recoil and... Uh... Toxic. On the turn that he dragon danced, but I had to assume that he was choiced. I had to assume that he could have been banded in order to take on a bunch of my mons, or he was scarfed in order to guarantee to outspeed my entire team. But I guess that's just going to be how it goes. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. We'll be back really, really soon with more weeks of the PGL and um, a lot of different things coming really, really soon. But, with, but once again, with that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll be once again out.